Hi DIYers, this is Michael from AlarmGrid, and today I'm going to answer the question of whether or not there are better security systems than the original Qolsys IQ panel. And the answer to that question is yes, there are better systems than the original Qolsys IQ panel. Now I have the original Qolsys IQ panel right here. This was the first system released from Qolsys. Um, and it's, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty outdated system. It's not very commonly used today, and there are many panels that we would recommend over this one. Um, I have it up here for you to see. Um, it's, it's a pretty fat panel. It's, it's pretty big. Um, it's pretty bulky. It's got some weight to it. Um, it's not as aesthetically pleasing as some of the newer, thinner, more tablet-like panels that we have available. Um, so this, this isn't something we would recommend. Um, and it doesn't offer all the features that um, newer panels would offer. So th this isn't one that we would normally go with. Um, it has actually been replaced by the IQ Panel 2 Plus, which I have right here. As you can see, it's, it's a lot slimmer, it's a lot thinner, it's, it's, it's got a sleeker design. Um, it's got a tamper right now, but, um, but as you can see, it's got a, a slimmer design, it's more user-friendly. Um, just looks better on your wall. Um, so th this is one we would definitely recommend. Um, as far as this one goes, um, it, it lacks the features of the newer IQ Panel 2 Plus system. Um, the IQ Panel 2 Plus has Power G support. Uh, Power G sensors have a range of about 2,000 feet away from the IQ Panel 2 Plus in an open air environment. Um, that's, that's an incredible range. You can use that in um, a larger home or a business with it without issue and there's even a power G repeater if you really need to extend the range. Um, they're also encrypted sensors. They use military grade 128-bit AES encryption with the power G sensors. So that's a, a big reason to get the IQ2+. Um, the original IQ panel which I have here, um, it only supports 319.5 uh, megahertz sensors and it, it cannot support any encrypted sensors so you won't be able to use encryption on the original IQ panel system. Um, now, Qolsys did release these S-Line 319.5 megahertz sensors um, for the IQ2 Plus system. Um, those will use S-Line encryption, um, and they are backwards compatible with the original IQ panel, but they won't utilize S-Line encryption. If you use those 319.5 megahertz sensors, that you won't get any encryption if you're using this fat original IQ panel system. So. That's something to keep in mind. Um, also, if you're looking to get a system that uses HomeKit, uh, this will not do it. Um, the IQ Panel 2 Plus won't do it either. We're hoping it may be added at some point, but right now uh, the only system we have that, that can do HomeKit um, is, is the Honeywell Lyric controller right here. Um, also the DSC IOTEGA can do it, but um, it doesn't offer end user programming. So if you're looking to get a HomeKit alarm system, a system to use with HomeKit devices, we would strongly recommend the Honeywell Lyric controller right over here. Um, another thing to keep in mind, um, the original Qolsys IQ panel, it has built-in Z-Wave, but it's just standard Z-Wave. Um, you're only going to get the standard Z-Wave hops. Um, you're not going to be able to um, take advantage of Z-Wave Plus devices. You, you can use Z-Wave Plus devices with the original IQ panel, but they're only going to operate as standard Z-Wave devices. Now, if you have the IQ panel 2 Plus, you'll be able to use um, the Z-Wave device, the Z-Wave Plus devices, and you'll get the full benefit of Z-Wave Plus. So that's another reason to get the IQ2 if you want to take full advantage of Z-Wave Plus for smart home automation. Um, another important thing, um, the original IQ panel system, it is 3G, cellular communication, 3G. And uh, the 3G sunset is approaching. Alarm.com will no longer allow activations for 3G communicators. So if you were to get this somewhere, um, you would not be able to activate this system for monitoring service, which is a pretty big deal because you want your security system to be monitored. Now, the IQ Panel 2 Plus, um, it, all of those systems have built-in LTE communicators. LTE stands for long-term evolution. It's going to be around for decades from now. Um, it's a great way to future-proof your system, and it's built right in. You don't need to add a communicator to the system. And since it's LTE, you'll be able to activate it for monitoring service and activate it for use with Alarm.com so you can control the system remotely. But since the original IQ panel system only has a 3G communicator, you can no longer activate it for monitoring service. So that's something very important. Another thing to keep in mind, um, if you have Alarm.com security cameras, um, a lot of them allow for live streaming on the newer IQ Panel 2 Plus system. You can live stream your cameras and actually view the footage right from the panel itself. 
the original Qualsys IQ panel system, it doesn't support that. You won't be able to live stream your cameras from this system. So if you get the IQ panel 2 plus uh, and you have a compatible alarm.com security camera, you'll be able to stream it right from, from the panel itself. In fact, if I go over here onto the menus here on the system we have pulled up, um, you can actually see um, there's a camera section right here. Um, we can play cameras. Um, our cameras aren't set up at the moment, but um, that's where you would go. You'd be able to live stream right from the, the panel right there. And one last thing, or a couple, a couple other things I do want to mention. Um, the original Qualsys IQ panel, it does not support partitioning. This is a single partitioning system, single partition system. You can't do partitions. Uh, the IQ Panel 2 Plus, it supports up to four partitions. So you can section off your system and have some sensors armed and able to trigger alarms on the system, while others will remain um, bypassed or inactive, whatever you want to call it. Um, but you, you don't get partitioning support on the original Qualsys IQ Panel. You do get it on the IQ Panel 2 Plus. And one last thing, the original Qualsys IQ Panel does not support Bluetooth disarming. Um, if you're going to... Um, set up Bluetooth disarming for your phone. When you get within range of your system, uh, you can have your system automatically disarm if you have the uh, Qualsys IQ Panel 2 Plus. You can't do that on the original Qualsys IQ Panel. This does not support Bluetooth disarming. So those are several reasons why uh, there are better systems than the original Qualsys IQ Panel. We recommend the Qualsys IQ Panel 2 Plus, or if you're looking for a HomeKit system, we'd recommend the Honeywell Lyric controller. Um, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up below to like the video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. And if you have any questions, uh, send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com and check out our website, alarmgrid.com. Thanks. Have a great day.